Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we are back and we're actually ready to go, so let's just start the game. Bam. We good. I was telling Rifkin I dropped a Trisket into my water, so now it's like salt water. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got Trisket in my tummy. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the sweet. other semifinal. We did not cast the other one like we usually do just because the bracket got pretty messed up. And of course, we don't want to go too long in the cast, not just for, you know, personal reasons or for the player reasons, but also because we have another cast coming with Fear Dragon in about two hours. So, already kind of encroaching. Yeah, uh, so th that quick reminder that while this has been going really well and you guys have been helping us out, making this prize pool really awesome, Remar tweeting about it too, we do have the chairs for Gaming Cup uh, this afternoon on North American Cup. So you may see players like Cham and others compete again. I don't know, but... Speaking of which, in the bottom right side of Frozen Temple, playing in the Maturino Cup semifinals, it is the Red Zerg player, Cham. In the top left, as the Blue Terran, he's Major. Now, Major is pretty good versus Zerg. We saw some really, was it weird stuff going on? Like, he was doing these drops that had bunkers behind them and really taking advantage of areas. Oh, mm -hmm. donation coming in. Uh, JTDDC donates $3, and he says, Does Rifkin like mermaids? Can you feed on them? Would it matter if it was top half woman or fish? If he can feed on one and not the other, is it because the fish head is fish blood or vice versa? These are questions the people, me, want to know. I would imagine there's not a lot of distinguishing between blood types if you were a vampire. If yeah, I had if I had yeah. to guess, it's probably something like, you know, you prefer chocolate over peanut butter, but you can eat both, you know? I do wonder why then Well, no, never mind. Okay, that is actually the the uh the backup plan, isn't it, for vampires? They don't want to kill people. They like feast on like deer blood and stuff. But I've never heard of a of a vampire eating fish blood. I mean, is is that a possibility? Well, considering A, vampires aren't real, and B, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, buddy. If you say so. <laughs> okay, uh, anyways, so let us decide. Uh, what I was saying before, though, was Major really good with all these cool drops and unorthodox ways of doing them. Really, really importantly, just good at cutting it off before it gets to Ultralis in the late game. I, I would actually really like to see Major versus Snoot in the finals just so we can see that dynamic play out. But Cham is actually so good right now, and I don't know what, like, he's beating players like Polt and others. Like, I'm I'm, I'm going to be surprised if this isn't at least a 2-1 in one of their favor. I couldn't tell you which. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I am cheering for Major, though, just because more than anything else, I want to see Snoot Major finals. But Cham Snoot wouldn't be too bad either. Either way, we'll see how this plays out. Finally gets uh, that first kill, and Ling goes down. I feel like this is the second time we've cast these guys together in, like, a week or two? Because yeah, I remember bringing up that they would have been playing in Copa America together. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting yeah. about Copa America. And then we talked about how, like, Major didn't play in it because, you know, he had the whole thing going on <laughs> last season and, uh... Oh, you mean I, the whole big band thing? Yeah, exactly. And I think that Cham actually did really well in the season, I want to say, because I, I tried to look up the stats, so... I don't know what the score was last uh, they, we cast that. But. They played in the Ting Open Season 2. Ah, uh, okay. In that best of happened. five. And he lost major. He lost two major, one to three. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay, so a little bit of context, I guess, as to where this could go. But Cham, if he's been improving, you know, every day since then, still uh, could bring him back to that 2 1 that you were talking about. A major, he just, uh, you know, he had a good TVT, a long TVT. He <laughs> thermal did warn us, you know, it may not end till like 2 a.m., but. Maybe I uh, gotta shake off a little bit of that TVT mentality. He is going for what is a very common build on this map, going over here with that tank, with the wood of mine, with whatever. And Cham, if he doesn't expect this, then I don't know why he's playing Zerg. What are you doing with your life? Nah, I'm just kidding, kind of. But it is such like, it's like the build everyone does on this map. It's like when they go for like a double liberator build is when the Zerg's like, wait a minute, where's the tank? Where's the wood of mine drop? Like, what are you doing? So this should be anticipated. Just any amount of units, you know, already on the ground will, will actually really help a lot. Queens, unfortunately, always have a tough time getting over here because creep just doesn't spread as quickly as one would hope. So, the queens can't really help at all. I was like, where's that reaper shooting? From down here. There we go. And that bunker. Uh, by the way, there's that bunker we talked about earlier. This looks exactly oh, the no. same that Major was doing the other day, but 
Uh, quick shout to General Imus. Uh, General Imus. Ten dollar donation to the prize pool. So it's from Norway with love. Go Snoot. Nice. Thank you. For nice. Oh, Snoot says thank you. He plans on winning it. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, Hatchery is probably gonna this go down. This. I mean, the bunker's still good to go. The tank unloads. I mean, he doesn't even care about the roaches. I uh, can shuffle the tank. Needs to shuffle the tank around. Gets yeah. a shot off first. That's not bad. A little dangerous to you know siege it like that, but the roaches didn't focus fire. I love this touch. It's so silly that Major always seems to get away with this, but that bunker makes the staying power it, insane. Yeah, it does. It really seems like it makes a difference of eightlings being enough or not. Is is that bunker getting up? So, killing the hatchery, but not only that, he killed a good chunk of lings. He killed yeah. two queens. Like that is a lot of damage. And, yeah, 14 uh, links, two queens, a hatchery, and a roach. That's 1,100 resources in the hole for Cham and less than 500 for Major. Yeah, the tank can continue to uh, play around as well. Liberator follow-up, very common, trying to look to it at natural, because that's one of the benefits of killing queens, if you can. A halo to the third CC is already uh, done uh, in like a second or two here for Major, so his macro, of course, behind this has been looking pretty good. Liberator doesn't really do too much, doesn't even get the queen. It's a little unfortunate, but Major was taking a risk sieging it up like that. Don't lose the tank. Ugh. Uh, that predictive shot. <laughs> Major wasn't moving. A little funny. Thing is, he could leave this as a scout, but every single time he does that, it's just so dangerous. Did he kill his own roach trying to kill that? Oh, Lord. I just looked at the bets, by the way. I think he did. What are they? Uh, 21,000 on Major. You want to guess champs? Uh, 5,000? Less. 1,000? Higher. 2,000? Less. 1,500? <laughs> it's like 1,900. Why would you do this to me? Okay. it's fun. It's like when you count down from four for no reason. You're just like, yeah, why not? <laughs> Don't do that cheeky fucking little laugh. Like, <laughs> god damn it. Uh, All right. Uh, infestation pit kicks off, by the way. And Cham, while he's not exactly been rocking and rolling on upgrades, might just get to that hive tech here pretty quick. Now, two bases, three bases. At the end of the day, I think a lot of Zerg start focusing on just how good ultralisks are obviously snoot doesn't for the matches we cast of him earlier and we'll talk more on that once we get to the finals maybe but for cham's sake i don't think three bases is going to support any amount of like hive tech this might be better off just going straight to the infestors and dancing around more with the ravager mid game yeah yeah i think that might be the better option especially now as he sees the attack moving out won't have combat shields but we'll have one very weak tank to help out Thank you, Nidenheim or Nidenhime, for the 13 month resub. Oh, they just stim in on these units. Always so tempting, especially when there's so many Ravagers, and they do start taking out the Ravagers. Tank not necessarily to help here, but this will be pushed back. It will be held, but it certainly was a decent trade. Marines for. You know, Ravagers, obviously the Marines are always going to be a little more cost effective. And the next push, whenever it does come in, is going to have 1 1 in combat shields, so more dangerous. Uh, JTDC donates $3. How can can cast if vampires aren't real? Does this mean he'll finally eat garlic on stream? You know what? How can we see if our eyes aren't real? Thank you, Jaden. The J, uh, you always forget about the J and JTDC stands for Jaden Smith. <laughs> Jaden. Because <laughs> only Jaden Smith, Smith makes such <laughs> stupid tweets. Like... <laughs> I was gonna suggest though, you know, you know, we, we had a clever little idea with my hair, we had a clever little idea with your mustache, before that was the drunk stream. All these donation goals. If you really wanna sell out and make money, maybe the next donation goal should be to make you eat garlic on stream. How much money do you no. wanna make, Rifkin? No. <laughs> no amount of money for my fun, dignity. The fun about the other ones is like it was either or. You can't be like, okay, well, he'll either eat garlic or not eat garlic because everyone's just going to donate for the eat garlic and it's going to be like, okay, so okay, he'll eat garlic. One, everyone donates $5, cool, 100 bucks raised, and then no one donates anything for the rest of it because it's either, stupid, very clearly 100 to zero. Either he eats garlic. Well, no, like, people also donate to, like, if it's 300 is the, the cutoff. Because that was the drunk I mean, stream, wasn't it? The eating on stream in general is already, like, that's not going to happen. Like. But, like, the drunk stream was, like, get to a certain point and we'll do it, right? But anyway, if you want to do an either or, it could be either Rifkin eats garlic on stream or Zombie Grub, like, wraps herself in velvet for a stream. Because <laughs> that would be equally terrible. Thank you very much. But anywho, uh, this game has still continued on, and Cham's not looking too bad in the supply. Ooh, nice. In fact, Attack. yeah, 
This is pretty good. Uh, his fourth base has been up for a while now since the this, main attack didn't focus on it. But This is a big push for Major, though. He finds the base unprotected. He's going to get in here before the Ultra Scavenger is done, so he's not even worried about the Kainis plating timing, much less Ultra spawning. Picks up, flies away. Boom. Hatchery for free. Right. Now, of course, there's, there are fungal growths. He's got to be careful. If he gets fungal, the corrosive biles will finish him off. Yeah, the infestors are, yeah, they're the girls with speed boost, and yeah, they're not going to be able to catch up. So that was a nice snipe on a hatchery, and the fact they didn't lose anything to do it was, you know, the best part for sure. But this game is not as over as it might have seemed initially with that first push. Kindness planning is on the way, but Major's next attack will be a pretty big one. He'll have two till, he'll have maybe a couple liberators with it. It might even be multi pronged here as he is still the side, uh, you know, actually unloaded and ready to go in this side of course as well so the ultras are not very good at splitting without their plating once the plating's done then like one ultra will defend against any amount of drops but before that cham is in a little bit of trouble here that fungal was the one of the worst i've ever seen <laughs> it hit one marine so rude <laughs> in the middle so <laughs> rude <laughs> I'm sorry, Cham. Uh, Ultra instantly goes down. That fun goes a lot better, and Crystal Biles hit as well. Focus fire on the other Ultra before plating finishes would definitely be worth it. Actually, Widow Mines take it out. Nicely done. This attack over here is gonna get the hatchery again. We have a counter attack of Lings, but the Widow Mines, Widow Mines! Get pretty good hits, and only take out three of the SUVs for it. GG. That's close. Nicely done. That timing was so good on his attack, too. Yeah. It was close. All right, so takes game one here in the semifinals. Again, reminder, the winner of this goes on to play against Snoot in the grand finals for a best of five. Also, just in case there are any players that happen to be tuning in, I want to remind you guys that uh, the Chairs for Gaming bracket check-ins will start in about 45 minutes. The tournament itself is scheduled to start at 3. If for some reason this broadcast goes longer, we'll finish this first before swapping off with Fear Dragon. But uh, hopefully... Ideally, this should time out pretty perfectly. Hand one off to the other, ideally. Maybe half an hour downtime, something like that. We'll find yeah. out, but um, get to this next game here. ASAP. Yeah. We've had a lot of 2-0s today, and also a lot of Dusk Towers as the second choice. Yet somehow choice. we still end up having more downtime <laughs> than ever before. Right? Maybe not ever. Just 20 minutes is a long time. Include all those uh, dream hacks, man. Dreamhack was the worst. I remember we did that math on it, right? It was like an 18 hour stream, 11 of which was downtime. That was depressing math. I just remember back before, um, back when that I was, did it like- That was what do you do with your life math? Yeah, back when I did it like on my channel, like with Fear Dragon or, um, or Word or whatever, if there was like a, like a 30 minute downtime at least, and then of course it would, you know, extend to an hour, hour and a half, we just put a break screen up and like I took a nap. I remember back in the day I went to like cuddle Apollo because he was a kitten. That was like my first like um, dream hack cast or something like that. Like those are the days. <laughs> and now of All course right. uh, we don't we don't do that. It's not, it's not that's not it's actually People not too good practice. People tune in for the podcast, man. Yeah, they exactly. Love it. I'm not, yeah, I'm saying that it wasn't a good thing, but it, man, was it convenient. Oh my god, there's like this gif at the top of Reddit I checked during the break, and it's about a kitty escaping his cage to go to a cat, the dog's cage, so they can hang out. It's so cute. And so I just want to be with you. Oh. I feel like, so the delay kicked in about the garlic velvet thing, and I guess only a couple people know how much I hate velvet. Guys. Yeah, she's weird, guys. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, in the top right side of guys. Dusk Towers, though, he's finally here for the game two of the semifinals for the Matriano Cup. It's going to be the blue Zerk player, Cham. In the bottom left, as the Red Terran, he is Major. And, guys, just imagine, like, nails on a chalkboard. No one likes that. Imagine if you could wrap yourself in the sound of that. That's what Velvet is like. Also... Okay, everyone hates nails on a chalkboard because obvious reasons, but did you also grind your teeth whenever they erase the chalkboard with the chalk eraser? Or was no. that also just me? Okay, crap. What? I, you know that when they, they, like, it's like the the soft, like, brush type of thing they use to erase chalk on the chalkboard? And it makes a very, like, light padded sound? That yeah. always made me grind my teeth. Like, I couldn't what? stand it. <laughs> Well, luckily, there's, a, there's a lot of problems wrong with you, but this really ranks up there with, like, top three. Like, Well, I mean, luckily this has never bothered me the rest of my, like, 
I'm never gonna go someplace that has a chalkboard, okay? If I go, even if I worked like a, a, you know, like Google or something, they have whiteboards now. And in school, they got these electronic boards that were really stupid, but were basically right, whiteboards. Right, your fancy rich kid school. Yeah, board. so I never had to worry about chalkboards at, like after like eighth grade. Uh, so but... what I'm hearing about this is just like chalkboards are too <sighs> like too pedestrian for you. Your rich tastes can't <laughs> handle the low grind I'm... of a brush against the board. No, I mean, yeah, my my. <laughs> Yeah, my tastes are very refined. <laughs> uh, but seriously, like, oh, Jesus. He really, he really wanted to mess up with me up, like, come to a convention, bring a chalkboard and the eraser, and also bring velvet. And just, just follow me around. All right, so quick update, by the way. Of course, this is the semifinals. So right now, what's important is the loser of this series will walk away today with, like, $30 or less. Or $30 or more, actually. I was going to say less, but just realize we can still fundraise more. The prize went up to 30 or $341. Well, I'm not extremely uh, saying, guys, we have to hit a higher number. If we hit $400, Matt is going to throw in another $20 on top of that. Think about that dank 420 number, y'all. What the hell was that? <laughs> You were like gonna, was mild white gangster was, into white southern. <laughs> I was gonna throw in a vape nage too, but I figured that was gonna be laying it on a little too thick. <laughs> vape nage, y'all. Oh my god. Oh my good god. <clears throat> well, uh, Dusk Towers was the choice of Cham, and so far he's using it just for what is intended macro. Major is not going to find the same abusive position with a Widow Mine drop into tank as he did on Frozen Temple, but it's still a very good opener. Reaper did end up dying. Lings and Queens combination I, took it out. I mean, like, th there's very low chances Major continually gets away with this bunker thing, but every time we've seen it happen for the first time, he seems to get away with it for that first time. And that's a cool push, and I like it, and yada, 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 but the thing about Major that screams to me about strength in this matchup for him is the fact that he does get these really awesome attacks at a time even before Ultra's Cavern's done. Like, Terran, I think, we, we joke about it so consistently, but there is that diffuse, the bomb timer effect that goes on, and Major knows just when to get in there. Yeah. Yeah, it was really clutch timing last game. We'll see if he can hit the same thing, or, well, you know, even kill him before. That's always nicer. The Roach Warden is on the way, and Cham is looking to do probably the same thing as last game. Double melee upgrades and the Roach Warren, Roach Ravager, but... Major, he's not going to be able to place a bunker down in this game. I just don't know where you would put it on Dusk Towers. Unless you just put it, like, literally right here. <laughs> Slow C jump. There's not as uh, tricky as spots, but... He is following up with the Liberator. He scans the main, actually. Sees the Roach Warren with the Medivac off to the side. And I can't believe he's actually going to try and go to the third base. That is very so, risky. While this goes on really quick, Nidenheim brings up a question in chat asking about a Partouf. And here's the thing, guys. If you've been subbed to the channel for 12 months, you got to send us a message. And we'll respond to that message with a Google document where you fill that out with your address and stuff. If you never do that, I don't know how you expect us to send you the Partouf. Like, it's something... Not something Magic. we do Twitch. This is something we do. Like, we commission to get these made, and we, we send them out personally. So, uh, well, I'm not trying to rag on Nidenheim. Thank you so much for your support all the time, etc. Uh, if you guys do want to get your part so you've got to send us a message on the channel so that we can send you the form. You could fill it out. We can get it mailed off to you ASAP. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> really shouldn't have lost that meta back to Corrosive Bile, but oh well. What am I in Gets Around? <laughs> Poor guy. Liberator is a uh, shoot away and... The aggression is, is pretty much over the sport calling queens over here, but yeah, I guess I, maybe some people like just kind of forget that they never ever gave their like address. Man, I don't think you even give your address when you sign up on Twitch, do you? Unless you're nope. partnered. I don't think you did on partnered. Well, you have to get your tax it, information. Well, even then, it doesn't go into like your info. Yeah, it's yeah, just exactly. For Twitch's records. So we would never have access to that even if you did. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess it's actually it's silly, but I, I could definitely see more than one person making that mistake. Yeah, I what I, the reason we bring it up is because publicly, we're so make sure people know, like, we're not trying to cheat anyone other part two. It's like this 12 month thing isn't a gimmick. It's us very much wanting to reward you and thank you for being with us for 12 months. And we can't do that correctly without your help as well. So again, just if you, if anyone here has been stuck for 12 months and they don't have it, send us a message. The reason you have to send us a message, by the way, so I can verify that you have been stuck for 12 months. I compare it to our sub list, and of course, we've had a lot of people try and cheat the system, cheeky little buggers. But uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta send us a message so we can compare it. If it's good, send you the form, and then Bob's your uncle, you get your part two eventually. Um, 18 to 20 days, by the way, until Zombie Girl finally gets the new batch that we can send out. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. By the way, plenty of people said that I wasn't crazy, so thank you. 
everyone who said that. Really? The chalkboard thing is a common- I don't believe that's a common thing at all. I, I refuse to believe- I don't know if it's common, but I saw at least three to four people say, like, no, you're not crazy, like, I hate that sound too. Like, nails on the chalkboard I get. The the brush, though, is such a soft, non-problematic Exactly sound. like Velvet. <laughs> It's yeah, I guess you're 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 a special you're a special snowflake. Yeah, if I, if only something could smell soft, you know, <laughs> then I'd hate that too. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of I think I actually you know think of like vanilla like really good vanilla scents kind of how to phrase it, like smell soft. I can kind of see where you're going with that, but it's still like it's usually strong because people want like the the vanilla scent, not like a soft vanilla. I can barely smell it. Yo, so. for real, if you're a beautiful girl and you wear vanilla, I'm gonna instantly fall in love with you. Like, a hundred, like, just not even a doubt. You like vanilla that much? I mean, yes. I, I prefer the simpler scents like vanilla to, like, the, you know, beach, kiwi, watermelon, whatever from, like, Bad and Body Works, but I don't know if vanilla's my favorite. <clears throat> Anywho. The, um, not the, not the perfume stuff you spray. Your, your hair stuff smells actually really good, too. I don't get creepy with saying it like that, but, like, uh, the nice. shampoo or whatever. I don't know. Oh, uh, you're probably talking about my fancy shampoo, which I, I don't even know has a scent, so... Or you're talking about my Selsun Blue? <laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever it was, like, you got your hair dyed, and you're like, my hair smells fantastic, and you let us smell it, oh, and, like, that it smelled one. really good. Oh, yeah, that smelled great. Oh, oh, it was the, um... It was the uh, um, hair oh, like, product. Guys, it wasn't me just like creeping on her. She's like, my hair smells great, and then like me and Ravi and like we all smelled it. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. it wasn't like it's uh, it's called it's like a the after conditioner that you put in, so it doesn't like you know your your hair stays unfrizzed, and that stuff does smell really good. And I do I actually own that, so I I, I can definitely see where you're coming from. It's so sweet. It's so nice. Uh, Vol'jin subs for nine months, and he drops a dance. Man, I miss Cactus Valley in chat. Uh, people ask you about the ASP emote in chat. Um, well, the game's about to heat up and hit that critical point. I'll try and finish this off really quick. Uh, the ASP emote was shut down uh, along with all the butt emotes on Twitch being removed. Something like 67,000 broadcasters were affected by these removals. And what's frustrating is they removed it because they thought it was just a letter. And the reason they're removing letters is they want people to stop having a good way to get around like language filters and sensors. But it's not a letter, and they've been making a strong case for it. And they're looking to reinstate it, but it's something that's taking time because like it does in their eyes violate their terms of service even though it doesn't if that makes sense i've talked with people at twitch we're on the road for it it unfortunately has been removed forcibly for the time being yeah i like champ's plan with the lings off to the left by the way but major was on top of it there's definitely been one too many games that we've cast that they've played where you you push out before ultra's cavern and lings come in and either force you to back off or you know lose you 20 SEDs so you still die anyway Oh, that tank shot, really nice, but unfortunately gets picked off by the corrosive Biles. The fungal growths aren't good enough to hold the army in place, and Major does have so much army over here. He's still got some reinforcements back at home, but Cham also doesn't have his whole army here either. Some links are going to dick around on the other side of the map. They actually get on top of Major's reinforcements inside his third base. They get cleaned up, no problemo. Continues to push now into Cham's fourth. The Ravager's being focused. This is Ooh. it for Cham, and I think Major just locked out his spot in the finals. I think he did as well. The ultra coming is done, but none on the way. GG. That timing, so sick, so dangerous. Uh, quick shout-outs go to Nitrous Pelican as well for the 18-month resub. Thank you very much. And we got Jesse joining us in chat, actually, for a non-tank hey, event. What? Uh, Jesse, by the way, is going to be playing a show match on the channel against the Yord sponsor. I think we got July 1st. Mm -hmm. Um something like that we, we actually locked down a time at like 5 p.m pacific or something it'll be pretty fun it'll be pretty awesome to see some uh sponsor versus sponsor action but this tournament is finally moving on towards its finals it's going to be a zvt major versus snoot first map's gonna be on frost we're gonna go to a small break but before we do again just that reminder and a general thank you to everybody who's donated to the prize pool today having 341 dollars raised is awesome if you're a really big fan of both snoot and major i guarantee you i promise you like this is my promise to you as rifkin uh, the broadcast rifkin base free tv 100 percent of the money donated is going to go directly to the players so if you donate you'll be helping at the third fourth place slots but as well as the first and second place as well so make sure to check it out. And of course, again, if we hit $400, Matt Trina will put in another 20. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go into that break, and we'll see you soon.